We're back on this, because I guess this is our life now. What up? Welcome back to the SFO Arcade. Dave's figuring out his iconic abilities as, um, as Gogeta, basically. Pretty much. Wildfire, Light Dash, Brimstone, Spitfire, Firelight. Uh... Take him out, Dave. Whoa. Dev, why should I trust the government when the government is run by a dragon who can fire laser that me from space? It's a very, very good point. I don't know. Well, because if you don't, he'll fire lasers at you from space. Oh. Well, so your seems, trust doesn't matter. That seems like a lose-lose situation, then. <laughs> is this near the end? Let me see. The current quest is, I think... Oh, oh Panzer Dragoon in the store. Fire in the sky. Nope, we're not near the end yet. This is like the 60% mark. Maybe maybe the 65% mark. Dave, I thought Dave was a duck before Dev said he was a black mage. Dave's a chocobo? Yes, he is. Look, look, at, his, look at his thing. Look, look. Dev, yeah, look not the right time to do this, yeah, dumbass. Okay, good. You can do it. You're a giga chat, aren't you? Are you not? God. Have you hidden from me your non Giga Chad status this whole time? I don't have to prove it. I already okay. am one. Then shut up about it. I never <laughs> talked about <laughs> it. You're the one who never shuts <laughs> up about it. The game gets worse from here, too. Oh. Dave, you're looking awfully sexy for me, a black man, right now. Huh. I thought you were a goat. Hey, Lady Man Knight, what's up? You're close to the end of the game as far as relevant story beats go. But still a lot to slog through to see him. Oh no. The giant golden dragon in space that is the prince of the kingdom is the 60% mark. Well, that's, what that's where we're at now. Dave, how does it feel knowing you still have 40% more as soon as you go? Um, let's beat it next couple days, okay? Annoyed with you, that's for sure. Oh. Man, that cloud texture for the panel is kind of shit, doesn't it? Also, you can't okay. even see any continents. Ow. This feels like, like, like a Bayonetta arena almost, you know? So why are you in Devil Trigger right now? <laughs> Boom. After this is the straight line. The bulk of the rest of the game is side quests. Oh. There you go, Dave. Mm. That's something I can force Dave to do to make him kill himself. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> Are there any, like, good on-stream side quests we should do? Oh, that's the attack. He's readying Terra Flare. You gotta, you gotta beat him up. Also, you gotta, you gotta get hit by the beams. You gotta dodge. Oh, Dave. Dave! <laughs> So, chat, how have you been? We've, if you look, just look at us, you can see the state of our lives. Three, two. This game is stalling. Marks my word. We won't be letting them forget this. If this game wants to stall us with side quests, so be it. We're rushing to get it done. <laughs> Get all those puns. Oh, I did. They're terrible. Ouch. Ouch. 
When Dave was accused of beating Dom, he said, No, I did not Hitler. What the fuck? Are you just getting dumber day by day? <laughs> The perfect blending of Canadian and Italian cultures. Dave went to an Italian restaurant and ordered moose meat tortellini, otherwise known as Mussolini. <laughs> Guarantee there's some hipster place in Toronto that has that. Dave wanted to make ramen recently. He asked, Dev, where's the pot? I said, it's on the top shelf. So Dave reached out and whole pot what? <laughs> in a full pot? Yeah, I, holiday in <laughs> Cambodia. I get it. It's just really fucking stupid. You're just realizing this now? <laughs> there is no one beside me. I am by myself. I am playing this by myself. Alive. Yeah. It's undead. Oh fuck! <laughs> well, it's doing his thing, dude. To burn the world. I bought her. Oh, I got one. Zeta Flip. There was one time we were all going on a road trip together and Dave kept being late, he kept stalling, and it was just kind of terrible. And it was finally time for us to go. Sounds more like you than me. And it was finally time for us to go. And so I went, I was like, there's one last thing we gotta do. We gotta go to the washroom. <laughs> and Dom was really mad with him because he was stalling so much. So I was like, Dave, you gotta go to the washroom? And Dave was like, he? No, she kill me. You get it, Pinochet? <laughs> oh my god. I am definitely gonna pay someone to take you out to the Chilean <laughs> desert and drop you from a helicopter. Oh you my. You defeated Bahamut again, good job. God, <laughs> yeah, and with the biggest idiot in the world spouting off puns next to me. I don't think anyone should call me a bad gamer ever again after this. Yeah. Good God. <laughs> this whole shit is driving Dave Hussein. He feels so deary he wants to take a bath. <laughs> like, this is actually a decent part of the game. Why are you guys being this ridiculous? Hey, bye. Oh, you're just going to fall back to the fucking... Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're done, dude. He is. Ah. Of course, Josh was kind enough to get him. Because mm -hmm. something, I don't know, honor. And Efreet's going to, like, take out the crystal? Yep. Bye! Oh. Oh, wait, Efreet can't fly. How is he getting back down? Uh, falling with style. <laughs> yeah, Dion's just got this, this wound on his forehead. That's it. Yep. It's like, yeah, we just watch you have a space battle because we can see up there. Yeah, can you imagine being those people on the ground and all those different places we've been? Just what the fuck? Joshua, I climb. He's like, I could read your mind while we were while we were connected. I could read it. Father, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know. I know what you did to Jill's asshole. <laughs> You're alive. Wow. Nothing else matters. Thank you, Nathaniel. It takes great strength. Yeah, they're finally coming back together. 
Good. Good. He is now in your party for the rest of the game. Oh, she's happy too. Well, yeah. <laughs> kind of grew up together. I like how Torgal is just like, I'm near death. Yeah, I'm he's an so old. Dog. old. <laughs> so old. He's alive. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck happened, dude? Like. Oh. Yeah, the child's Ultima. And they kind of hinted at that, didn't they? That or he's hallucinating. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, what, your your kid was always an illusion, I guess. Or it was just it was just like a Jesus thing, just a, a manifestation. It was an avatar. an avatar. Dave at ninety years of age and dies as Dave yells. Does he We should play Dragon Quest, bro. Oh God. Done. The demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Father. He dead. Uh, go absorb the Bahamut powers right now before he actually dies, like medically. <laughs> the kid was real, but Ultima took him. That's also possible. It's collapsing. The kid was possessed by Ultima. Oh, okay. No. Wait. You think that he would have done more? I owe him a debt. What you gonna do? Are you gonna kiss him? Yep. Nope. Just gonna give him, give him the powers. <laughs> the active war stuff explains it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, don't just fucking. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, don't fucking get out of here. <laughs> what? If they can't put this in the game, then it's bad. Bad writing. Make it work. We're seeing all this time, all this fucking nonsense. You can't put the actual important shit. You have to read it. Fuck you. Well. Yep. Dude. Yeah. You, like, you fucked up. Like, you literally, like, Disinherited your own fucking son. Yep, and he went insane, and I don't think he went insane. Actually, no, he didn't go insane. He he figured out what's go actually going on, or he had an idea of what was going on, and he died taking out the possessed kid. So now he has no. Oh wait, what the fuck? It's gotta be a flashback, right? This, this is during his revolution, yeah. Populous will come to no harm at their hands. Yep. I am here to save you, Father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Senbrek. I just, I usually just forget about the active war. The traitorous and It just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem very, very, like, a, it doesn't seem like a natural thing to do during a cutscene. You may not see it. The darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember. Oh, there shit, was that spear's so long. <laughs> oh my god. With compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? 
That's a good point. You two have also, we forgot to, uh, <laughs> we both access. forgot to turn off the light up there. Oh, well. <laughs> Who is responsible for it? A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power. What? Tion, you bear steel before your emperor? Uh, yeah. Guards, take him! Sick. I'll just transform and fuck all of you up right now. I don't care. For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. Another can be br Wow, that's harsh. <laughs> that burns, another can be built. Those are your ah, words. Ah, ah, ah. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes How have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? And this really is the, the conundrum for every for every monarchy or every empire. To claim all that we hold dear. Our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Ermagerd. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dear, you must understand. He's like the only decent person in this entire <laughs> empire, I swear to God. Yeah. Not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. You didn't talk to me like that before. Oh! Mm, that's yep. why he was covered in blood, yeah. Damn. You think the guards would now strike? Oh, they're all just gonna run. They all ran. What? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not touching this. <laughs> Poor father, how he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. Yeah, this is not the same kid, like at all. That is a complete 180 of temperament. You did well to endure so long, but you broke in the end, as I knew you would. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Holy Roman Empire. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. Ah. Okay. Did he just see all their memories because he got the thing? Because he got the powers, yeah. Hmm. The soul of Bahamut. <laughs> just lifts him up effortlessly. <laughs> oh yeah, she's still there. Clive, you need to be careful. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. <laughs> oh god is this one of those bitch the last moments get away from me this is all just a dream just a bad dream where did she get that she probably already had it on her you will not take me yep her stupidity will oh 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 I mean, there's that bifurcation right there, right? Clearly something's gonna... Oh, oh, fuck. Oh! Holy damn! <laughs> it's 
It's like, you know, you are the Phoenix. You can just like bring her back. <laughs> it's like you can bring Dion back. Well, that's that. Yeah, she's kind of insane. Her obsession with with oh. making with making the 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 greatest air in the world just <laughs> crumbled before her eyes. Like, well, okay. Well, all right then. That's over. Zero to ten, no cactuars. <laughs> I mean, a lot funny if a cactuar showed up and just threw a thousand needles in her. So whatever happened with that crystal is now happening again. Everyone is dead. That whole fucking city is done. Well, whoever whoever was still in the city is basically just screwed, yeah. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. And you are one creepy motherfucker. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed, and humanity return to its proper place. Okay. Hello, oh, what? he's climate change. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. A new age of reason. Oh, he's the Enlightenment. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Is this the end? It's not the end of the game, Rock. It's just, it's just after a, lo a long pitched battle against Bahamas. Oh it's been like an hour, dude. Majesty. Some time later. Wait, who's the naked lady? It's a naked lady. I thought, I thought, I thought she died. Was dead. Don't you want to play? Yeah, because she was she was like the the prostitute chick who ends up being um Garuda. Yeah, yeah. But she doesn't have Garuda anymore because she took it from her. So now she's just like a regular. So woman. this has to be his dream then, because he's still alive. Me? He's still alive. Such. Yeah, he's dreaming. Look, oh. he's Hugo as well. Yeah, Garuda. Yeah, the uh, the spirit of wind, or. Whatever when you want to call it. Eidolon of wind. Oh, so I guess it's... I mean, th this last guy, he's Odin. Is, uh... Yeah. Is ultimately just fucking with him? Or it could be the, it could be the, the echoes of the other dominance. Yeah. Yeah, it's him. Bright. Okay, never so mind. Muthos shall become our perfect. God, he's so creepy. And then shall the Mythos. Be made. Not before the bonds are severed of trust. Okay, so basically they're putting all the summons into one guy. Mm -hmm. so that Ultima can come down and possess him. Got him. And that's what he's been manipulating this whole time. Yep, because Ultima is basically just Old Testament God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds and... Muthos, I thought his name was Claude. Yes, he does look like a Borg. But he also reminds me a bit of the, um... Oh god, from Prometheus. The, uh, the founders or whatever. Okay. Oh, the eyes, though, they're stuck. Is yours. Oh. I, you called him master. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is an Elden Ring. Where are you hugging? And now you get to have sex with, I guess this girl is the one that you like, eh? I guess. Mother. 
Mother. This is a bit weird. Yeah. This is some, like, Homelander drinking the milk kind of tear weird. <laughs> okay. I want that. Just, just to have the, have the fucking town, like, destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's Chris Chan. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's so fucking weird, dude. <laughs> oh. Dress Div in a Freya costume. He's already my Chocobo, right? Yeah, now. no. Never. How is your brother? Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Hmm. Yeah, so Joshua is just, he's just here he permanently. He should be back on his yes. feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She can I please get to a point where I can save? Why? Swelling. Because I haven't so saved in a long time. I'm saying that that's fine. He's turning into Ultima. Because he's the mythos, isn't he? Is up to greet us, doesn't it? Dude, the way that you sung that kind of sounded like I was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar. <laughs> that much is he's true. He's turning into Ultima. That much is true. <laughs> Oh God! Ah, uh, human league. So listen, yeah, you guys just destroyed all the crystals, all the source of magic and life in the world. And you're like, why is everything getting worse? Like, are you guys retards? Yes. Suddenly, an instant death QTE that sends Dave back all the way. Okay, you can save it now. The power of light. Okay. Oh, we should actually check out uh, those skills then, eh? Whoa. Cool. Alright, so what skills do you got? Hmm. <laughs> there it is. Right there. You're literally collecting them all. I sure am. So there's, there's two more spots. Clearly one for Phoenix, right? And one for um, Odin. And that's it. That's all of them. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. What was? Th go back. Go back. Go, go to the hundred one. Summon familiars. Oh. Yeah, but I don't really use magic much. Mm. So. But they they attack you when you swing your weapon. It said, it said when Clive uses magic. It just showed a picture on screen of him like swinging his sword. Okay. And, and like it was like going pew pew pew. Oh. Might as well see what Otto has to say. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't. Quest? Is quest. Yeah, whatever. Deb, I have to do this. You need to do all the side quests, Deb. Do the side quests. Oh god, we're gonna have like half an hour of fucking talking to all these losers now, aren't we? Yup. Gotta go ahead, go ahead, go get everyone's opinion on what happened. Let's go, Harpocrates. Tell me about it, you fat fuck. Oh, this is the bear of good tidings. Use the hunt board to locate the Berm King. No, we'll do it later. Those are, those are we'll do, do it later. Berm King. Berm King. Oh, God, Dave. Look at all those concepts up here. Atlas Bomb King. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to do Things that. Things Fall Apart sure. is the name of the section must be referenced to the African book by the same name. I read Things Paul Fall Apart in my second year post-colonial literature class. It was a good book. I never read it. Yeah. It's basically about, like, I think it's the British show up in some African place, and they, like, just, like, run roughshod over them. And then, like, one of the chiefs, like, kills himself. Yeah, sounds sounds wonderful. Really, really, it's actually, really, no, it's actually really good. It's, it's, it's really good book. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it sounds really, really depressing. <laughs> oh, the realm 
basically like they show up with a bunch of new technology and it completely destroys their tribal structure and they're all like fucked and like uh, like the, the sons of the chief like join the church and he like he, he has like nothing like he has nothing to pass on or no family to pa pass it on to anymore and so he just like kills himself wow that sounds beyond depressing actually nah it's pretty much deserved having an inferior culture <laughs> Okay, there's Get the dev. The there's the dev. I <laughs> it's more like the, the chief can't keep up with the technological and social advances. Yeah, yeah. Look at us. Tempting though it may. No, I read. I read things from fall, fall, fall apart. Um, Jesus Christ, it's been like 15 years though. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been in school. Yep. I don't have like it though. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you're 15 years out of elementary oh, we've school. We got more map stuff. Let's see. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion. Yep, all the crystals are gone. All the fucking crystals are gone, dude. Before the blight is just everywhere. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. They You you killed so many people. Mm -hmm. Like. A glimmer of light. Like none of the crystals work anymore. You... Like it is only a matter of time before the common folk convince. What do you guys expect to fucking happen? Um, this is literally like like the degrowth agenda. Like stop using fossil fuels and let everyone die and panic. The world thirsts for ether. The remainder drowns in it, spawning a caching. Yeah, like and amidst the hordes of mindless beasts. <laughs> This is clearly what Ultima wanted. Yep. Even the strongest nation would falter. They're making it like like after Kefka destroys the world in Final Fantasy VI. You know, <laughs> maybe that's the halfway point of the game. You are doomed. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of. I hope we can still do side quests in all these places. <laughs> These guys just the never give up. Has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, chaos. <laughs> like everything seems kind of fucked right now. Mm -hmm. civilization was nothing but a castle of And this is only one, the one continent. Okay, how are we the good guys? Like we wanted to do this. We wanted to destroy all the crystals and destroy society. And now that society is being destroyed, we're like, we didn't know. How could this have happened? Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people. To Without the protection of the nations, people have to fight for themselves. Welcome to anarchy. Defending a farmhouse yep. against a band of Defending a farmhouse against a man of trouble with you is one thing. Which folks are passing to little and stall in armies advance. Yep. Yep. They're basically sitting ducks for Barnabas. Odin wanted this all along. Let's go speak to Harpocrates. Harpocrates! Oh, Harpocrates! Because Ultimate is a genocidal dictator opening of paranoia that he'll be killed. Okay. Um, I have nothing there. That is one thing that I'll, I'll give Harry Potter credit for, right? It's like, like, so, J.K. Rowling clearly wrote Voldemort to be like a, a Hitler stand-in, right? But Voldemort is not that much like Hitler in terms of, like, personality traits. He's not hes not much like any fascist in terms of personality traits. Well, Hitler, Hitler was more approachable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, Voldemort, like, he fears death, and that's his only motivation, but, like, most fascists, they're, like, they have no problem, like, charging to their death when necessary. So, they're not, like, they're not that similar. It doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. That I, I always knew Dave would destroy society. Yep. Thank you. Did the gods tear the sun from the firmament? Mm. Mm -hmm. upon their Thanks, Harpocrates. Thanks, Harpy. What's going on? King of the Harpies. The sins of Zemeckis. The sins of Robert Zemeckis. Also, one, one of the gods' responsible. Well, Only one? Certainly exhibited powers that we more there is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god. Oh. Of couldn't be the one one. The sin? It wasn't Sin the uh, the last boss in Final Fantasy X. Yep. I don't even know what Sin was. Was Sin was Sin a dream? Was Sin a nightmare? We gotta go find the Journal of Master Chronicler. I'm sure we'll be able to find it because that's probably the next goddamn quest. Mm-hmm. Without it, thanks. Thanks, Harpocrates. Your name's stupid, by the way. 
Which one just want to remind you. Talk to Otto again. Oh, He's God. Back down there. Oh, <laughs> Sin was a bioweapon that went rouge. Rouge. Oh, I see. It went, it went rouge the bat. I found Voldemort to be fairly shallow as a baddie. Then you gotta read Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality. Or just don't. Because Voldemort is probably one of the best well-written villains in that fucking in that fucking fanfic. It's amazing. Guys, we have a problem. Only one. No, seriously. First. Harry Potter with his rationality, it's like what it's probably probably the smartest book I've read in a long time. <laughs> yeah. But you found both Quirrell and Harry pretentious. Oh yeah. Can you finish it? Shut up. Doesn't matter. I've read enough of it that it, it's true. When it rains. The the author is incredibly pretentious. That's okay. So am I. Yeah, you're both terrible people. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, you're hard to be around. It's called Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Let's go on the next adventure. Where are we going, Dave? Next. Progress on certain quests is temporarily limited. Oh, because we because we can't. Oh. Aid Martha's rest in its dilemma. Aid Northreach in its dilemma. Aid Adele the male in its dilemma. Okay. There. And the Like how the world map's more fucked now than it was. I look at it. Of course. Like, ooh, everything's falling apart. Okay. Which one do you want to go to first? Oh, God. Let's go to the Delmechia first. Okay. Did you read it all, Avalon? Now the world's almost as sick as Dave. <laughs> no, no. Look, look over there, look over there. Yeah, see? That's a locked quest. Oh, so you have, you have to... Oh, oh. oh! So basically, like, you can't do that quest till you do this one. Okay. Like, open the town back up. Yep. Your new companion appears much... Some of the challenge ones are active now, too. Ooh. You haven't been introduced. Jill. Clive has told all lies, I'm sure. Your stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit. Indeed. Got a bandit. Oh, they left our food and gill. There they go. Gotta go track them down. Let's go take them out. As if by magic. Oh, yeah, so... There was a big hullabaloo about this game not having any black characters. But it has, like, Arabs. Yep. There's, there's, like, an Arabian nation in the south. I mean, that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. And you... Down the rabbit hole. Let's go. Fine. Okay. Suppose we just follow the I still thing. can't do any upgrades. That is nonsense. Yep, it's just... Okay. Yep. Three quests you gotta do. And they're all reasonably short, it seems. Right. Hold on. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood, blood for, for blood, blood. the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better oh. off using that coin to buy food and... I'll kill the bandits. The only yep. Thing we're buying and you That's our job, baby. But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that slit. Thanks very much. Right, was it? Ale Ale Jan Drotality. Understood. Thank you. Alejandro Tality. It's Spanish, Devin. It's a language. Not in Canada, it's not. People speak Spanish in Canada. They shouldn't. <laughs> well, go back to your own country. Tell that to all the all the Mexicans and Central Americans that are <laughs> that are out west. Let's go speak with Victor. Victor. Oh, Victor. I was about to ask. Costness is in chaos. Costness is in chaos. Okay. Fire's kiss. kiss. Yep. 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 The thorns. Chaos. 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 Yep. Dark skies. People should speak Spanish in Canada, but not French. <laughs> <laughs> well, the French have been here a lot longer, so. Got all this fucking talking. Just give us a fucking quest. Go kill bandits. Got it. Dude. 
If this was orange, it just looked like Canada. <laughs> With all the wildfires right now? Yeah. Actually, Arch pulled something up last night on the Arch cast. Uh, apparently, Africa has way more wildfires than Canada and America and South America combined. Yeah, they don't export the amount of food and yeah. other, but also other like, products. Like, 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 product. like, 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 no one gives a fuck if Africa's on fire. I'm sure the Africans do. Oh, you're white over blue. Oh. Okay, uh, hey, man, what's up? Let them choose for themselves. Okay, I do have some things I want to say, but I want to wait for the, the, all this talking to be done. That sounds like a recipe. Though it just seems like we're going to be sent after the bandits. So why, why is it this much? It's just sent after the bandits. It's sent after the bandits. Yeah, it's just, they're just talking about drama. Full resource, blah, blah. Okay. Oh. Don't worry, play along. Play along. Play along. Okay, whatever, man. There's an African war. Africa's always in a war. Yeah. It's where there's war lords. They're just greedy fucks. Help recruit Conrad to Lubor's case and Natalie to Lubor's case. Okay. You know what? I don't care anymore. Fuck it. Look, yeah, this is it, this is boring. So, so Avalon, you said that you found Harry and, and Quirrell both pretentious and nothing's rationality. As I told you, was that the, was that the complaint? I mean, that's kind of the point, right? It's like they're both they're both way too smart, and everyone everyone around them is a retard, and they're just and like they know it, and they're just like. Oh, I don't, I don't want to explain this to you. Oh, fuck. Why? Ah. Oh. And they're just like fed up with the world. So it makes sense that they'd be like <laughs> the brightest candle in the crypt. <laughs> nice. Like it, it just, it just makes sense that they'd be like pretentious, right? Because they're just like they, 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 they dislike stupidity. Which, to be honest, I can kind of, I can kind of see. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Ron Weasley is the most likable character because he was barely there, which is a radical improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yeah, they, they basically they basically uh, cut Ron out in favor of Draco, and it was a much it was like an improvement. Draco's was more interesting character than Ron. I mean, it may still be possible to buy some. Ah, here he is now. God damn it, TK! Fuck you. Allow me to introduce Lord Underhill. He's going with the name Underhill. Oh wow! Okay. Underhill. <laughs> Underhill. Frank Underhill. Oh, it's Frodo. Frodo Baggins. It's my third cousin. <laughs> it's like. It's like my third cousin twice removed on my mother's side or some bullshit. Yeah, been what a moron. Yeah. I saw photos of them going on the plane to go off to New Zealand. To, oh, yeah? Uh, to, to film? To fil I don't know if they're like... Because here's the thing. It would have been the first one. Yeah. Because because it, the, the it was Stuart, time, Stuart Townsend was the original Aragorn. But you needn't. So it's probably them going off to... Um, after break to, to start filming. Mm. Start filming the second one. No, they filmed them all at the same time, dude. Well then, I don't know what I don't know why they were they were boarding a plane then. Well, they might have gone to like the states just for like a brief period of visit, like on vacation for a week or something. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, it Beagle Mortensen was in the pictures, therefore it had it was after it was it was after it started. Yeah, see, for me, Avalon, I liked the scientific attempt to like quantify what magic was. I like the the grappling with morality in a lot of a lot of the book, um, and also I could just identify. To be honest, like here, I'll I'll pull a lefty move on you. I could just like identify with not necessarily being a child prodigy because Harry was way smarter than I was, I was when I was a kid. But like feeling like everyone around you is just dumber because they are dumber. You know. There's like a have you seen this graph where it's like child prodigy, amazing, you know, incredible. Everyone has high hopes for him from like zero to eighteen. Then from eighteen to death, it's like burned out wreck of a life. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, that's, it's, that's, it's it's prodigy, not prodigy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you, you know what I'm fucking saying. <laughs> <laughs> God. Pick up the desert bandits, dude. I also like the scene where Harry just writes, don't, yeah, it's don't mess with time after fucking with the time turner. Yeah, it's pretty good. Harry's like trying to do experiments with the time turner. 
and like, did you did you read that part? Where he's like in his bookshelf and he like sends the, the thing back, and if he gets like a certain mathematical equation, he'll know what to write, and it should allow. And like, did you get that? I think so. Did it works. Basically, like, there's a certain mathematical equation where, like, if you multiply two random numbers together, it will basically allow it, and then, like, write, write down the answer, but don't have the question, and then send it back in time. And then you can, like, get the, like, basically, it was a way for him to figure out, um, to figure out the codes of a, of a combination without actually knowing it by using a time frame. Um, and the math checks out. I recall reading it and, like, doing the math, and it checked out. And then, like, Harry does it. And he opens, the, he opens the paper, and it just says, Do not mess with time in all capital letters. And Harry's like, Alright, I guess I won't experiment with that anymore. <laughs> Dev the progedy, getting his English degree. <laughs> Pretty much. Fucking bastard. Thanks very much, Optimate. Thanks, thank you very much, yeah. Hmm. Nah, man, like... I've, I, I said this in one of my in one of my videos in the past, but like, you know, I I didn't do homework in school, and yet I was getting like 80s, I was getting 90s, I was getting like 100s and some things. I wasn't I was like not paying attention. I wasn't doing homework. I, was, I didn't give a fuck. I was just like coasting through school my entire fucking school life. Didn't even give a fuck. Just like flew on through. All right, tons of accolades. Um, I had the opportunity to like skip to in grade school to skip two grades. I, I turned them both down. So I wanted I wanted to hang out with my friends. And I was like, you know what? Nah. I mean, to be fair, I should've I should have done it because I don't talk to those friends anymore, you know? But at the time I thought that was the most important thing. I said I basically kinda suppressed my own fast track out of the school system because I wanted to hang out with people more. Dev goes back in time and realizes that future Dev did all the work for him, and that's why. <laughs> That would be, well, that'd be hilarious. I mean, you were there. You were calling me just kind of coasting through school, right? I wasn't in your grade, man. I mean, you still saw some of it. Not, not really. Okay, How can I see it if I'm not in your grade? I don't have any classes with you. Okay. We had some classes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's, but not, not in elementary school. Yeah. So here's the thing. Like, I had the option to skip grades and take advanced classes. And in high school, I did take the advanced classes. But, like... I decided because because you like you can you can choose to not skip the skip grade. So I did. I, sh I chose not to do it. I was like, you know what? Nah, I want to have my friends. I should I should have taken. I should have taken because here's the thing. I went through grade school and high school, getting near perfect on any on everything, with no effort whatsoever. It just like naturally came to me, without any studying, without anything. And then like, I got to university. And I got absolutely fucking demolished because the the limits of my talent started running out once I started hitting the real world. You know what I mean? Well, also, and, and I, I never learned how to actually work and apply myself in school because that's what that's what school's supposed to do, right? Mm -hmm. Like the reason you're doing your math homework isn't so you learn math. That's secondary. It's so you can learn to sit the fuck down at a desk and do a hard problem. And that's that's why that's what you're doing there, right? And I I never learned that because I was just like, oh yeah, I just like it just you, I, I can just yeah. do it. You know? You're just coasting. Yeah. Yep. And then I just got to like the point where once I, I once I actually encountered something truly hard for the first time in my life, which was you play, you played Warcraft. I got fucking demolished. Yeah. And I had to like drop out and come back. The inn would have been lost. Yeah. Without you there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, comrade. We all saved Dali. So like whenever whenever I read stories about like exceptionally bright children or individuals, I kind of feel like okay, I get it. I feel like I feel like I live that life a little bit. I would, like, I wouldn't call myself gifted, like, that's probably a bit much, but, like, I think I was definitely smarter than average. We be both were. I got lazy, too, though. Yeah. Although... Hey, hold on, did you, did you do your homework, though? <laughs> Not always. No, what I meant, did, did you do your homework and still pass with, like, nearly flying colors? Well, I still pass. And the only things I struggled with were the things I didn't really want to work on. And that would be like uh, math for the most part yeah. and no, I, some sciences. I did like, I, I don't know if you guys remember, right? I did a video like a year ago where I pulled out a bunch of my old. Um... Oh, next one, eh? Yeah. Yep. I pulled out a bunch of my old tests. Like I grabbed them from my, from my parents' house. Basically, uh, I had gone back to my hometown to visit my parents and there was like a box of old school stuff. And they're like, listen, like if, if you're not taking anything now, you're not, you're not getting it because we're throwing everything out. It's like, okay, fair enough. So I grabbed everything that was mine, 
and I brought it here, and there was a box of old school stuff. And I went through it, like, on camera, and I was like, look at this, look at this. And, like, I was just, just like, 100%, 100%, 95%, 98%, you know, like, 90%, 92 and it's like, just, all these just... There's, like, old report cards in there and shit. What do you think, Clive? Did we join the fight? I thought you'd never then there's the behavior stuff. Please get him out of my class. <laughs> what, what if they just bump your grades up because you're just that annoying? <laughs> to be fair, I was like an edgy kid. I do a little few swastikas, yeah. Here's the thing. When you're like eight or nine years old and you, and you like learn the swastika as a shape, yeah. you're like, oh, I could do this and make people angry. I remember a bunch of us doing great sex. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> just like, it wasn't because like you're actually Nazis, because you're fucking around. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and I mean, we didn't really know the repercussions. We didn't know enough history to really <laughs> understand. No, I knew, and by grade six, I knew like the Holocaust. I knew what was going on. But like, I was still like, this is going to be a oh, really bad. I hadn't seen enough of, <laughs> I mean, I hadn't sat down to watch Schindler's List. I mean, have you seen that? Uh, No, actually. Oh, man. That movie is so. very hard to sit through. It's, it's, it's a very, it's an excellent film, but yeah. wow, it is tough. Hey, Jontron, you're back again, eh? Shay's back. Back again. Here's the thing. The swastika is actually an, an, an aesthetically pleasing shape. Like, independent of, like, the Nazi meaning, if you just look at it. I well, I mean, there's the classic, you know, actual Sanskrit symbol. Yeah. Oh, or... Oh, shit. That was dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. You didn't take the Hunter Biden route of taking bribes for your dad or whatever. Well, actually... I had a teacher for grade one, grade two, and grade six, and she treated me so fucking poorly. It's fine, she's dead. Yeah, she's dead now. And I never understood why, but I realized, like, two or three years ago, it was because, like, like she had a crush on my dad back in the day, and my dad rejected her. I was like, what the fuck is this petty bullshit? That was funny to learn, though. I was like, what? Oh, oh, that explains a lot of things. That ties up a few loose ends for me, you know? She was literally Severus Snape. 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 Severus Snape. Dumbledore! <laughs> yeah, man, I got, I got to a point where I was just like, oh, fuck. Once I got to university and I couldn't actually, like... I couldn't keep up because I was finally, like, dealing with people who were more or less on my level and dealing with concepts that were more or less on my level, but I had no idea how to work. I couldn't just coast on, like, talent anymore. I got, like, destroyed. I, I had to, like, drop out. Yep. Well, also the fact that you were playing, like, just hour upon hour of Warcraft. You, you played Warcraft too, yeah. <laughs> See, when I started, I had the luxury of not being in school. <laughs> it was what I did at night. No, it's what I did during like, my days off. <laughs> Warcraft and Way were the two things that I did to avoid the fact that I couldn't keep up in school anymore. Mm -hmm. Where's the blackface? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, try out the new icon. Yeah, dude, what are you doing? Try it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I gotta take John Tron first. If you've come to rob this place. <laughs> you are mistaken, my lord. We're here by Madame Martha's. Oh, no, that's not John Tron. He's just, He's just another John Tron. Lord. The world's full of John Tronson. Huh? Where is your That's commander? True. Sir Wade left earlier with a scout. Did he? Sir Wade. Wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked up. Everyone says I'm BB. This is just like a regular black mage outfit, dude. Like regular black mages also have the striped pants. Did it not come with the the, the black face though? Yeah, it did come with they come like a like a like a like a stocking. Because like the regular black mages also wear black face. They have no, oh, they have. That's a, it's not black. It's like a shadow over the face. You know, it's like shadow. To think you took yeah. them for thieves. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith. Anyway, that's the main reason I like Harry Potter and the professionality. Because very intelligent of, characters. Because of the blackface. Just fuck you. Very intelligent characters. And also because they actually wrote Quirrell as like an interesting villain who had a reason other than Voldemort's like nonsense. Descend the lift. Yep. Voldemort's nonsense in, in Harry Potter was it was just stupid. Like it, like he was a dumb villain. Yes, I will make you know, an, an arbitrary number of Horcruxes that is like a magical number, and I'll make them all the most, the most, you know, important artifacts in the world. That that would be smart. Like methods of rationality, he like took a random rock and made it a Horcrux, and then just threw it into the bottom of the ocean. It's like good luck finding that, bitch. You know what I mean? Like it's so much smarter, man. 
Well, them were stupid. He was a stupid villain. Lots of villains are stupid. Are you gonna be? Tr are you trying to be a smarter villain than them, Dev? Yes. <laughs> nah, it'll blow up in your face. It always does. Uh oh. Oh. That John you died so quick. It's not John Tron. Oh, okay. Wrong That's John Tron. Oh. <laughs> I need you to get those who can still. Hey there, Wade. The yeah, see, he, look, he looks more like John Tron. Well, Wade was, yeah. So, Wade. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Lost in Latte. Lord Rossfield. If Lost in Latte. All right. Make a part on one of NASA's space shuttles a Horcrux. So that when it goes into fucking space and leaves the solar system, you'll be fine. Because that is what Quirrell did in Exertionality. He enchanted like one of the Voyager probes that just like took off and never came back. Oh boy, I got Wade. Let's see, where's Wade? Is Wade? No! Wait, why shouldn't I laugh? I find everything they say funny. <laughs> What, does it sound like? Does it sound like I'm being like an asshole or something? Oh, that sucks. Oh, Ouch. I gotta show you guys something. Actually, wait, no, I'll wait because uh, we have uh, this is, like nervous laughter. Oh. I mean, I'm not nervous when I do it. I don't know. I'm trying to be friendly, maybe. I don't know. Falcon punch. <laughs> it is. It's amazing. Ow. I doubt wizards know about the space program. Yeah, because they're stupid. Like, you'd think post-1945, post-dropping nuclear weapons, wizards would figure out... Oh, the battery's low. Shit. 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 Are you, Shit. Are you taking a break right now? Oh, God, no. <laughs> you know what? We're at an hour. We're taking a break right now. Fuck. Uh, BRB. <laughs> Thank you.